everyone today we are going to learn how to install root in your Linux system and explicitly we are going to install the root in our Linux system and we'll follow the steps uh, that uh, uh, that are very essential uh, in uh, installing root so we'll start from the step one in which we'll update and upgrade all the apps which we have installed in our system already so here is the terminal you can see that my ubuntu is 22.04 so i'll open the terminal and i'll click here uh, sudo apt update for updating all the applications that i have in my system sudo apt update it is a universal Com Linux command and I think most of you are familiar with this Linux command and after hitting this sudo apt update it will take not more not less uh, not more than one minute and you will your system will be updated and after this command you can see that there are some packages that needs needs to be upgraded so I'll hit a command sudo apt upgrade and again you can see that uh, since I have done this process already so, so it is not taking any significant time for your case it would take uh, uh, 3 or 4 minutes depending upon your networks and uh, networks and the system which you are using so I have completed the step 1 in the step 2 I will just uh, browse your web browser and here I have opened the web browser Mozilla, Mozilla Firefox and Firefox and I'll type here son root and just uh, you have to go to the first link you have to click the first link and in the first if when you click the first link you can see that new new version is available and here are various menu options available here you, you should go to the install menu and in the install menu you can see the step uh, step wise step pro procedure mentioned that you can follow but i'll uh, go to the steps directly and in the first step here it has been written install all required dependencies i'll click the link and you can see that there are various dependencies which are which which ne needs to be installed and these are based upon the uh, system operating system as well like Fedora, Linux, uh, CentOS and for every operating system the commands are different for example this is for uh, Cento, uh, Fedora 33, CentOS 8 uh, this, is, this is the command and similarly uh, this is for Fedora 33 and this is for Debian based distribution like Ubuntu and we will prefer this Debian based distributions command like this sudo apt install I'll just copy it and sorry I'll just copy it control C and just hit here copy and paste okay it, I it is showing one error that unable to locate locate package this one and you can see in the same site here it is mentioned that this uh, this library is available only for the ubuntu 23.10 version and my ubuntu is based upon 22.04 so i think it's not required f for my case and just uh, there is uh, another commands or system or packages that should be f installed before that should not be means it's an optional packages which are required for running the route effectively so I will recommend you to follow this step as well so just copy it control C and just paste here and uh, depending upon your network it would take time okay uh, since I have followed this step already it it has done me uh, done for me not then it has not taken a, a single minute for me so I have completed the second step now I'm going to the third step in the third step I'll download the root file and 
here you can see that download the release option is given here you can see here there are various release uh, releases of uh, root available so i will just uh, recommend you to insta uh, to download any of the file uh, which is uh, nearly uh, the releases uh, which uh, which is made at 20 2023 to 2024 are working smoothly for our case uh, uh, the newest version needs some uh, i think it uh, it is it is more compatible with latest version of operating system as well but i have no idea regarding it so uh, i will recommend you to download the releases which are uh, in 2023 and to 2024 early 2024 so uh, you can really uh, download any of the release but you must consider that it should have cmake command cmake file S for example uh, sorry this was not working okay okay these are the uh, uh, these are the releases available and these are the systems which are uh, 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 which are available and these are uh, the root file corresponding to this uh, this system is here you can download it for my case i have downloaded the I, I have downloaded the file and i have installed the root so i am not going to do this proce uh, process manually you should download the file for my case i, ha I am going to guide you from this place this is a root directory i have made and you should also make a separate directory and whatever uh, G, uh, tar file you have downloaded from the website it you have to copy from the download to the uh, directory you have made like in my case it's root version 6 28.12 source dot tr dot gz after this option uh, let me delete this one because it is not required okay now what you have to do you have to on tar this gz file so what you have to do this just click here and you have to uh, here there is option written extract here just click here and after extracting you will get this directory root 6 uh, root dash 68 6.28.12 and in this directory you can see there are various sub directories available and you should see that there is cmake dot this this is much required cmake lists dot txt it should be in the sub directory for installation of root so uh, what i have to uh, what i have to do uh, from here i'll just open the terminal i will just uh, make one more directory make directory I'll just name it as build. I had done this process already and installed it. I mean, earlier I had named it as a small build. For the tutorial, I'm just naming it as build. I'll go to this. Uh, I'll just click here, change directory, cd build, which I have, uh, which I have created so i'll go to this directory then i will click on the command cmake and i will come outside of the build directory and i'll go to the main directory uh, which i have on tard that is root this one and i'll just hit uh, enter now it will cmake or configure this root and it will just see you can see here it is looking for all the packages like uh, you can see from the uh, like it it has uh, taken the cxx compiler gnu this one uh, and you can see various things it has configured like python and everything else so after this command uh, yeah it is taking it, it you can see here uh, here on the screen that it has been configured and it has been ready to be built so after this uh, command just hit make minus j and if you have latest system or latest 
uh, laptop with good processing then you can hit j5 j6 for faster installation of root for my case i am hitting j3 make minus j3 and depending upon the network it will take four or five hours or one or two hours or less than an hour depending upon your system and network it will take and for my case i have done this process already so i am not going to do this uh, this i am not going to hit this command but after hitting this command it will be uh, downloaded and installed a root will be installed in the build directory so what you need to do is that after this we have completed i think uh, fourth steps in the third steps we have downloaded and in the fourth steps uh, we have configured the root now in the fifth steps what we are going to do is that you can see that the root would not be uh, working out of this directory if you click your cd and if you type root it won't will it will not be working in your uh, system locally so to, to run the root locally you have to follow this command gedit i hope gedit is in your system download uh, if it is not in your system download it so you can uh, click here sudo apt uh, install gedit and it will ask you a password root password and uh, uh, since i have installed it already uh, you can see that it has been already installed so i'll uh, open this editor gedit and I will uh, open the bash rc file bash rc and after hitting this one you can see that uh, the bash rc will be open uh, this is the uh, uh, this is the main file of your uh, Ubuntu system uh, where everything has been configured so at last you will see something like fi and these things uh, i don't bother about these all the commands whatever whatever it has been written here i am just uh, adding this additional information uh, on this uh, bash rc these hashes are for uh, commenting line for differentiation it has no any sig significant meaning after this line i am just writing here export root sys is equal to the path where you have downloaded the or you have or you have configured the root and for my case it's a uh, for my case it's uh, where it is for my case it's I think it's in root root uh, I think we have used is capital B yeah it's so you have to write here pwd and just uh, copy this one and this is the path where you have built the root and just paste here and for my case it's home atom root build small build because i am just uh, using the root which i had uh, installed previously so in for my case it's home atom root build and after this path we have to write uh, one more line export path is equal to dollar sign root sys slash bean colon dollar sign path and at last for the root to work locally you have to write export ld library path dollar sign is equal to dollar sign root sys slash leave colon lab, uh, dollar sign library path and after that, uh, that uh, you have to write this uh, you can write or it's optional you you can write this hs command these three lines needs to be added and after this just close this one and just go here and uh, just uh, to make it sure just uh, uh, power off your uh, system or laptop and power on it to check whether it is running or not and just write here root yeah you can see that welcome to root has been uh, popped up on your screen means it's working uh, it's in working condition so to uh, get out of this root just write it dot q 
okay now i just want to see whether my root is working or not so i am going back cd dash and you can see that uh, what what is available here uh, yeah build build so i am going to the directory which i have uh, on tard and you can go here and you can see what's available here there are various uh, directories available here so i'm willing to run uh, the c++ command available in tutorial section and in the tutorial section you can see there are various things available so let me go to the hist section or histogram section or no let us go to the physics section where it is physics section uh, yeah i think it's yeah physics section yeah physics section i clicked here and what is available here there is a phase space dot c c plus plus file available i want to run this physics phase space dot c file so my famous linux command will be root minus l uh, capital p phase space uh, okay the the c plus plus means root minus l and file name dot c and after hitting it will take uh, it will process it and you can see that a beautiful image is uh, popped up on your screen so finally our root install installation is successful and it's in operational case